Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, we thank you who has planted your holy name within our hearts. Knowledge and faith and life immortal, Jesus, your Son, to us imparts. You, Lord, did make all for thy pleasure, did give man food for all his days, giving in Christ the bread eternal. Yours is the power, be yours the praise. Watch o'er your church, O Lord, in mercy. Save it from evil, guard it still. Perfect it in your love, unite it cleansed and conformed unto your will. As grain, once scattered on the hillsides, was in this broken bread made one, so from all lands your church be gathered into your kingdom by your Son. Lord, keep my soul from death. Never let me stumble. I love the Lord, for he has heard the cry of my appeal, for he turned his ear to me in the day when I called him. They surrounded me, the snares of death, with the anguish of the tomb. They caught me, sorrow and distress. I called on the Lord's name. O Lord my God, deliver me. How gracious is the Lord, and just. Our God has compassion. The Lord protects the simple hearts. He was hel I was helpless, so he saved me. Turn back, my soul, to your rest, for the Lord has been good. He has kept my soul from death, my eyes from tears, and my feet from stumbling. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God of power and mercy, through your Son's passion and resurrection, you have freed us from the bonds of death and the anguish of separation from you. Be ever with us on our pilgrimage. Then we shall sing rather than weep. Keep our feet from stumbling so that we may be able to follow you until you come, until we come to your eternal rest. Lord, keep my soul from death. Never let me stumble. My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. I lift my eyes to the mountains. From where shall come my help? My help shall come from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. May he never allow you to stumble. Let him sleep not your guard. No, he sleeps not nor slumbers Israel's guard. The Lord is your guard and your shade. At your right side he stands. By day the sun shall not smite you, nor the moon in the night. The Lord will guard you from evil. He will guard your soul. The Lord will guard your coming and going, both now and forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you have prepared a quiet place for us in your Father's eternal home. Watch over our welfare on this perilous journey. Shade us from the burning heat of day and keep our lives free of evil until the end. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. King of all the ages, your ways are perfect and true. Mighty and wonderful are your works, Lord God Almighty. Righteous and true are your ways, O King of the nations. Who would dare refuse you honor, or the glory do your name, O Lord? Since you alone are holy, all nations shall come and worship in your presence. Your mighty deeds are clearly seen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. King of all the ages, your ways are perfect and true. 
A reading from James chapter 5. Declare your sins to one another and pray for one another that you may find healing. The fervent petition of a holy man is powerful indeed. My brothers, the case may arise among you of someone straying from the truth and of another bringing him back. Remember this, the person who brings a sinner back from his way will save his soul from death and cancel a multitude of sins. To you, O Lord, I make my prayer for mercy. To you, O Lord, I make my prayer for mercy. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. I make my prayer for mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. To you, O Lord, I make my prayer for mercy. They would have arrested Jesus, but they feared the people who regarded him as a prophet. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. They would have arrested Jesus but they feared the people who regarded him as a prophet. The Savior of mankind, by dying, destroyed death, and by rising again, restored life. Let us humbly ask him, sanctify your people, redeemed by your blood. Redeemer of the world, give us a greater share of your passion through a deeper spirit of repentance, so that we may share the glory of your resurrection. Sanctify your people, redeemed by your blood. May your mother, comfort of the afflicted, protect us. May we console others as we, or as you console us. Sanctify your people, redeemed by your blood. In their trials, enable your faithful people to share in your passion, and so reveal in their lives your saving power. Sanctify your people, redeemed by your blood. You humble yourself by being obedient even to accepting death, death on a cross. Give all who serve you the gifts of obedience and patience and endurance. Sanctify your people, redeemed by your blood. Transform the bodies of the dead to be like your own in glory and bring us at, at last into your fellowship. Sanctify your people, redeemed by your blood. Let us conclude our prayers with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that purifying us by the sacred practice of penance, you may lead us into sincerity of heart to attain the holy things to come. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.